All right, let's go. Uh, more Royal Rumble talk. So uh, there's this article that one uh, 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 Mac Harlan's I think uh, shared this on the Slack, and uh, it, it, it kind of piqued my interest a little bit so much that I canceled our original topic. Um, so I, I thought again, I thought it was a fun Rumble. I thought there were a lot of surprises. You know, not so much like there weren't like at, AJ Styles was a surprise but it wasn't there weren't like a lot of returns there wasn't diesel coming back there's not that time when Mr. Perfect came mm-hmm. back out of nowhere stuff like that right but but yeah, there was a lot sure, of they have a big roster yeah they do have a big roster they, they filled it pretty nicely there uh, to, to, yeah to, to, to which I'm like why did we have all these factions if we're not going to bring them all out here right but i i understand um but well, they still play their part. They, if you put exactly. everyone from all the factions in, I know that's, that's mo- half the rumble. I I know, I know. I, but then you forget. Oh wait, there are all these other people too. Um, imagine if so many people weren't hurt, what they could have done with the rumble, right? Uh, but anyways, so so there's this article Got from John Cena winning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from Figure Four Weekly um, uh, had an article about uh, uh, five Royal Rumble rules WWE should make. And, and these, some of these, like, I've heard of, of people getting disqualified, by the way, on the Royal Rumble. Uh, there was one I was watching, and then they, they had apparently disqualified Fit Finley for using the shillelagh at one point, which surprised mm-hmm. me since I watched some of the late 90s ones where it turned into a hardcore match when, like, Raven would yeah. come in, right? Yeah. And then, I, I th- the Finley one, I think that was the one we were at, Sorg. I, 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 think, I think it might have been. I think they made that up because he didn't go over the top rope. Something like that, yeah. Just like the, just like the uh, when, when when Macho Man eliminated himself, and it's like, well, somebody has to eliminate you, you know, yeah. things like that. That happens. Um, but I like so so that you know let let people lose by DQ. I don't know if I completely agree with that one. No. I, I think I think it has to be you lose by going over the top rope. Because I, I feel like if you have the DQ thing, it makes for a real cop out scenario. Exactly, yep. exactly. There's a lot of goofy things you can do there, and, and you you got to keep the you got to keep the rumble authentic, right? Like the entire Wyatt family destroyed most of the roster. Yeah, mm-hmm. and some of that, half of that, was after three of them were eliminated. Savio Vega Vega entered with the entire Los Barricas team. Yeah, and the rumble and the rumble I just watched. Yeah, I mean that's guy and Ty entered the rumble in two thousand like five times. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And somehow they were eliminated six. <laughs> and um, but I like this. Um, um, make make the uh, time a complete shoot. Because I don't yeah, know if anybody I, said I like, yeah. I like that rule a lot. I'm pissed mm-hmm. that it isn't. I'm really pissed that it isn't when like the first time I found out, like I read an article when they broke down like one of those like, you know, minute by minute things where they're like had all the eliminations and how much time things took and everything. And it was like, yeah, this one was like was like 45 seconds. And then this one was like, you know, a minute something, you know, it, it, it's just I, I'm with this. We were, I, say, put that we clock. Saying, I was going to say we were saying that last night at the Rumble or two nights ago at the Rumble party. I was at was when uh, the wife was attacking Brock or whatever. I was like, this has been a long minute and a half. Dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or <laughs> but, or when they come out and stare at each other for a long time, right? See, the thing about that is, though, I think they don't keep it a shoot because then they can allow the other matches on the card to go. You know I, what I mean? Really? Because, like, yeah, I think so. I, th- I think, like, let's say the Divas match went a little long. Okay. So like, okay, so we can cut down the entrance time to build up to Jack Swagger and have him come out in forty seconds instead of a minute and a half because he's not going to be in there that long. Well, anyway. the clock doesn't start when they hit the ring, too. Uh, but what that also lends to again on this article, once the time time is up and the buzzer sounds, you have ten seconds to get to the ring, or else you're disqualified. Or else you're disqualified. Well, no, I mean, then you can't get cool stuff like the Miz sitting on a commentary because yeah, he's that's intelligent. True. That, I'm with that you. is also true. I'm with that you. Is I, cool all stuff. Right. That's really annoying. So I'm with him. That was that was absolute bullshit. The year that he won by hiding underneath the ring, the the whole Curtis Axel shit. No, no, no. That's that's not good you're stuff. you're getting angry over heel shit. Mm-hmm. That is mission accomplished. I'm not getting angry over heel shit. 
I'm being annoyed by heel shit. Mission okay. accomplished. Yeah. Uh, okay, with that. So, 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 <laughs> right. I, I, I'm saying we keep number one. Let's let's have shoot times. Uh, we x off number two with the buzzer because then we can have curious things happen and, yeah. and can be a little creative with things uh, and annoy LB another year. Um, <laughs> yes. I mean, Jerry Lawler did the same thing. Mm. You did. Oh yeah, it is, this has happened for years, of course. Um, if any part of your body touches anything, including people outside the ring, you're out. No. 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 Fuck that noise. No. I'm. I, I'm. I. We, we x that out. Um, because I, I, the two feet roll makes things interesting. Kofi's been the innovator of this. Um, not not as great, although they, they did like kind of completely what I thought well, they would do. What else can you? When, what else can you have them do besides I don't know. win it? It's Kofi. It's Kofi. It's up to him to be creative, right? I, I'm just wondering why they didn't walk to the back for a while or stand in the entrance ramp. That's true. That's true. Well, I would, that's what I would have really wanted was for them to be Kofi to be on Big E's shoulders until Big E's end number came, and then they were like, <laughs> and they were like, wait, what do we do? And, and they try to pass Kofi off onto Xavier, but he can't hold him up, and then Kofi just drops. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. There you go. Better than what they had where it was completely off camera, or like they they went out and the entrance, he, they went to the entrance, and the next the next number started coming down and knocked him over. Yeah, you can do that too. That'd you be do. perfect. Like, like uh, Jericho. Especially if like it was an Uso, they came out and super kicked Biggie, and they both fell, and they right. Kofi was a And Uso or Jericho. Yeah, kind of you know, if it was a different or- order, Jericho, of course, you know, something like that. But anyways, uh, you know, the DQ, nah, X that one. Sorry, what else are we going to say no to? No managers or posses at ringside. They used they to not. Do, they well, used to not allow them well, there. Yeah, they did that. I can agree with that. They did that with Curtis Axel. And. Yeah, and the uh, new day, right? That's right. True. And Lana, well, yeah. no, Lana went to no, the back. Lana, Lana, did Lana went to the back. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that, yeah. I, I, I I'm kind of with that. I'm like, indifferent on that one. I mean, um, the run-ins are one thing, but generally, like a, 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 a giant group hanging out. Uh, you know, it, it, the the Wyatt thing was fine because they were eliminated and just kind of stuck around. You know, sneakily. Um, I, I, I thought, I thought that worked. They weren't just hanging around. You're like, you knew something, somebody was going to get involved because a crew, especially when we have all these all wrestler crews and they're more than just managers can just yank somebody over. There's nothing I, you can do. I about like it. watching the older ones where you had like three, four managers out at ringside cheering for their guys. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's I fine. miss those. Yeah. I remember he going down and then coming back up because his guy's next. And yeah, yeah, coming back yeah. down with his other guy. He just like did the laps up yeah, and down Jerry, the aisle. Jimmy Hart had different jackets for every single person. He did. He completely did. No matter who was in the ring with him, that's great. Uh, uh, that's it. I, I, I think I, I'm with that. But uh, generally, I think uh, just those, I'm with just those one of those things. five rules. Which one? Or did we do five? Or did just there's five. Do we do the f- five, fifth one? I thought we did four. Uh, no managers can't lose by DQ. Anything uh, touches outside the ring. Uh, once you time it up, you have ten seconds, and uh, the time is a complete shoot. Okay. So, that's... so I agree with the time. I, I, I like the time being complete shoot. Yeah. This is uh, Dan Velton of Figure Four Weekly to put this that's out it. There. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So that's it. I mean, interesting ideas. Good job, Dan. Nice try. But. We like the rumble mostly the way it is. Mostly. Can we can we note just real quickly also the in general rumble talk from Sunday? That was a good, great show. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was the best, like that was like, the best undercard I've seen in a while. It was really good. Um yeah, top to bottom. I, I I thought, you know, the weakest was the tag match and it wasn't all that bad. Uh the last man standing uh, uh, the least of Del Rio. Yeah, Kalisto was a little. Oh yeah, you know, Kalisto versus Money Bags, kind of. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it seemed like something was off, down. right? It, it, the Raw match was a lot better, of course. Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, I, I got them fixed, screwed up, but between the Last Man Standing and that that Divas match uh, with the, with the Sasha come out, perfect, mm-hmm. pitch perfect going into this. It, it, they got to that match, and I was like, geez, that was a main event. Like in I, my I mind, that Sasha. The, the Sasha, Becky, and Charlotte thing was the main event before the Rumble. Thing. That's why, in my mind, match wise, because that's where you would have put like the world title match or the, 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 the WWE title match or something in years past, right? Sorry, yeah. do you know what was at that spot last year? 
that triple threat with Brock Cena and Rollins. Exactly. And, and the year before was John Cena and Randy Orton. Now we completely shit on in Pittsburgh. Yes. And, and, and back when we went in 2000, <laughs> yeah. and back when we went in 2008, it was Edge and Rey Mysterio. So, I mean, that, that kind of tells you like where that is. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah. Um, no, I think I, I, I think it was completely a great show. I think this is going to be uh, I think this is going to be a Royal Rumble. We look back back on as one of our favorites like we do the 2008, the 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 1998, the 1992s. Right. Uh, I, 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 I think, wouldn't put it up in 92. No, no, I wouldn't. Put it, no, 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 no. I'm saying it's yeah, in the really league. I'm not saying it's nothing is going to beat 92. I think it's in 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 the realm. OK, in the top five, maybe in the top tens, whatever. You know, there's 30. That top 10 is okay. going to be pretty full. It's certainly better than a lot of... The, it's certainly better than the other one, Triple H one. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But the Godfather return and, and Mr. Perfect and all the people from the past. I love, um, oh, I love that one. I, I, love, I love that one when there was like four people that came back like that. And, yeah. and I love the one where Diesel came back. Well, and, and I think you mentioned it, uh, and someone mentioned it, like this is the first Rumble in a long time where we didn't have like a nostalgia uh, uh, entrance, and I didn't mind it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't miss it at all. I, I thought Triple H was the nostalgia entrant. Well, no. Yeah. But, I mean, he came out, he dominated just like 2002, and then did a lot of suck it chants. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> all right. Um, on that note. Uh, well, yeah, let us know your thoughts on the Royal Rumble. Thank you, everybody in the chat room that's uh, uh, letting us know as well. And talking about impact, except no. Garza for saying "fuck Kofi Kingston." Oh, fuck yeah. Jerry Lawler. I mean, that, that's Edge. not that's not right, that's Garza. Not cool. You need a lesson in positivity, my friend. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. All right, you know, hey, let's get positive. Let's get positive. Let's talk about some uh, some positive things happening. Some positive stuff on the internet. If you don't like the Royal Rumble, if you're not liking what's happening on Monday nights, why don't you go check out IndieWrestling.us. There's some good stuff over there, guys. There's some stuff like some Best of Dalton Castle. There's death matches if you want to check that stuff out, including a Playtime is Over match that involves Legos. <laughs> is Dana broken that match? No, she is not. Uh, videos. If you go to the IndieWrestling.us YouTube page, there are actually clips of those matches up there. You can go check out uh, light tube, light tube jail match, or whatever the hell they called it. Uh, there's there's Shane Douglas from uh, RWA season beatings back in December. Uh, there's there's some great shows with Booker T, East versus West with uh, with uh, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling at Border City Wrestling from Canada. Uh, uh, Bret Hart's on those. Um, IWC representing with the, the big winner takes all. If you didn't get a chance, they actually put since uh, the shows were canceled due to the, the great blizzard here in Pittsburgh. Um, this weekend, uh, the winner takes all the, the most uh, critically acclaimed show of 2015 for uh, the International Wrestling Cartel. And that's a show that didn't even have Tommy Dreamer and Rhino that were all over the rest of the year. And uh, everybody's been talking about that show ever since uh, about mid-December when that came out. You can check all those out. Individual match downloads for the RWA and the IWC. Great stuff from our friends at Vicious Outcast Wrestling. Hey, some young upstart named uh, AJ Styles. Uh, used to wrestle in Pittsburgh, I guess. And there's some best ofs. And there's uh, the missing matches with AJ Styles with an exclusive interview that Joe Dombrowski did with him uh, where he talks about it. This is right after he left TNA uh, this last time. Before before his odyssey that found him in New J- Japan Pro Wrestling and having killer matches in Ring of Honor with, with, with Matt Seidel, uh, you know, right on the brink of that. The same night that he had a match, a, an awesome match at Night of the Superstars in Meadville with uh, Anthony Nice that just tore the house down. And I've seen you nodding your head over there, Riz. You know about that stuff. Uh, go right. check it out, IndieWrestling.us. A lot of people are up there. This is a guy called The Drifter. He used to be a Logan Shulo back in the IWC. You can check out Hello. matches with him. Take it on Sammy Callahan, who's just popping back up on the indie scenes. Uh, the rep- the represent CM Punk is all over this stuff. Uh, go check in a little bit of history. Of Who? Phil? He was ending up on a lot of my shows recently. He was on Marin, and he was on another show he was mentioned, too. I think Sirens. I, I can't tell you because I'm blocked. You're blocked by him? Yeah. Yeah, there's that too. There's that too. You know what? You know what? We're gonna stick up for our friend Riz here. Do it. And 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 I know some people. I've talked to some people in the Mayhem Show circle that have uh, turned on CM Punk because he's blocked you. They're sticking up for you. But Good. what better way than to buy a DVD that 
he's not getting a piece of. Uh, there you go, IndiaWrestling.us. Stick it to CM Punk. All right, we'll be right back. We're going to take a little look. What did we do last week? Last week was the guests, right? Uh, if this is actually this is perfect for this week, considering what just happened. Uh, if we had a Royal Rumble, a Mayhem Rumble, who would win? The answers. Me. The answers may surprise you. It could be the hype one. We'll be right back with a big question. 